New at 6, an action-adventure movie is out this weekend, and it's already triggering protests among Asian-American activists and fans. The issue isn't the story, but how the actors' roles have changed on the big screen. Eyewitness News reporter Leanne Souter is live in Hollywood with reaction from protesters and moviegoers. Leanne. Mark, protesters want moviegoers to boycott that film, The Last Airbender. You see live behind me here, about 100 people have gathered in front of the arc light, and they're hoping to hit Hollywood where it hurts. <laughs> Voicing their frustration, protesters rally outside the Art Light Theater in Hollywood, angry over the movie The Last Airbender and its lack of minority actors. I find it offensive that they would purposely pass over actors of color, like specifically Asian actors, for um, Caucasian actors. The movie by M. Night Shyamalan is based on a cartoon show in which most of the characters are Asian or Inuit, but in the film, most are Caucasian. The Media Action Network for Asian Americans says that's discrimination. Unfortunately, there's this growing trend of whitewashing. That is taking a project that is written for Asian Americans, and when you make a movie version, just casting white people in it. Adding fuel to the fire, the only main Asian character in the film is a villain. Protesters say it's time Asians are allowed to be the heroes. Mana is calling for a boycott of the movie, hoping to send Hollywood a clear message. But many moviegoers say they are divided on the issue. I can sympathize with them because you see that a lot in, in today's movies, you know, where characters that should be portrayed by the actual people are portrayed by different people. The only time I notice it is when it's a handicap situation where someone's supposed to have missing limbs or something, and I always think, why don't they use someone that really doesn't have limbs? <laughs> But with the uh, race, I, I don't, you know, the nationality does, I don't personally notice it. Now, protesters say the only way to get Hollywood to change is to affect the bottom line, and they're hoping that's what they can do this weekend. Live in Hollywood, Leanne Souter, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Leanne. And a new movie hailed by its director as culturally diverse is being called racially insensitive by protesters. Tonight, they picketed in front of a theater showing The Last Airbender. Hal Eisner's live in Hollywood with more on the protest. Hal. Well, that's right, Carlos. You know, actually, to M. Night Shyamalan, who made this movie, The Last uh, Airbender, which is actually called Avatar, The Last Airbender. And this is a quote. This is the most culturally diverse movie series of all time. But to dozens of protesters who were outside that theater just a couple of hours ago, the casting was a travesty. That's a message from some of these fans of the animated TV show on Nickelodeon who aren't happy with the new movie version. The TV show, here's some video from Nickelodeon's website, has mostly Asian and Inuit characters, Alaskan natives. I've watched every single episode. Really? Yes. Uh, it's like about people who can bend stuff. Four elements, fire, water, earth, and air. But because of casting decisions by you filmmaker M. Night so Shyamalan, exciting, but these people are bent out of shape. <laughs> One of the organizing groups of this demonstration, RaceBending.com, points to the casting in the movie being opposite of the TV show. The initial four actors chosen were all white, until the actor playing the antagonist was replaced by Dev Patel. Dev Patel from Slumdog Millionaire was on Good Day L.A. Of the controversy, he said this. Uh, quite nonsensical, to be honest, because uh, uh, it's, well, for me, uh, it's the most diverse set I've ever been on as an actor. But not to actor Tai Ma. All of the multicultural people were background actors. None of the leading roles, particularly the heroic roles, were Asian or Asian American. Tai Ma, who's been in movies like Dante's Peak, Rush Hour, Rush Hour 3, Tried out for Airbender, didn't get a role. You're not upset because you didn't get the role? Oh, please. No, none at all. I He's upset because of what he and others here call a whitewash. They all hope The Last Airbender is the last film in this franchise. Boycott! Boycott! Boycott, boycott, that's what those protesters are calling for. But M. Night Shyamalan, who's been criticizing those who has been criticizing him, hopes his movie and actually this series of movies are a big success. Reporting live from Hollywood, Hal Eisner, Fox 11 News. The new movie, The Last Airbender, opened tonight to anticipation and some controversy because its director is coming under fire for some casting choices he made. Anyway, Fire Nation is here.
This movie is based on a popular TV program, but some of the show's fans say the film takes liberties with the racial makeup of the characters. Kim Baldonado is live for us in Hollywood. Kim. Well, Chuck, when word got out that the Asian characters were being played by white actors, a protest website was started called racebending.com. Today, the people behind that website and several Asian American organizations held a protest here and called for a boycott of the film. The Last Airbender is the film version of the popular animated TV series in which all of the main characters are Asian. But in the movie, those Asian characters are played by white actors. It is on the verge of criminal. It's on the verge of hate crime. And I'm sick of it. Tai Ma is a veteran Asian American actor who's been in numerous TV shows and films. Boycott Airbender. Today, he joined other demonstrators in front of the Arclight Cinerama Dome in Hollywood to protest M. Night Shyamalan's The Last Airbender. 90% of motion pictures star white people. Asian Americans are stuck playing bad guys and comic relief characters. Characters. This was a great opportunity for us to be the stars, and they took even that away from us. Shyamalan defends his casting, saying he cast the entire movie in a colorblind way. I'm not looking for, you know, chameleons. I'm looking for human beings. So if I find the human being that represents the character, we, we'll get the character. Pick a white movie and make it colorblind. Why are you making the very few opportunities for Asian Americans to be represented in a heroic way and make it colorblind? Shyamalan calls it the most culturally diverse movie of all time because three of the four nations in the film consist of people of color. This is the actual casting notice that went out two years ago for all of the four main heroes. You can see every single hero, it says Caucasian or other their ethnicity. Now, this is an atrocity because in the television series, all of these characters were Asian or Inuit. Now, the race controversy may be the least of this film's problems. It's getting harsh reviews from critics, and it's going up against the latest Twilight movie, Eclipse, which broke a box office record yesterday. Reporting live from Hollywood, I'm Kim Baldonado, Channel 4 News.